Hi all and welcome back to our channel. So in this video, let's discuss about how to manage cash in and cash out in order 14 point of sale. So cash in is used to input money uh, manually before starting your transfer. And cash out is used to take money out. That is used to collect or uh, take cash manually after doing performing some transactions. That is making orders and making payments. So first let's open point of sale and here we have our bars and shops. So here let's take the case of bar. Before making changes in settings, that is if you want to make any modification setting, you have to close the session and close changes. Okay. So uh, you can see we have a closed point of sale. So make sure that our session is closed. Only after that we can make any modification to our settings. So let's go to settings and here below you can see under payments there is an option to enable advanced cash control. So here when you enable this cash control you can control cash box at opening and closing. So we can add uh, some opening uh, balance to your uh, session and here we can set an authorized difference okay suppose I'm setting 10 so we can have this difference for session okay now let's open a new session So when you open session and when you choose a table, you can see an, a window that is, you can see a screen with point of sale closed, set a session, set a cash opening, op opening amount. So you have to set an opening balance for your session. Okay, let me set it as 500. And here you can add notes. I'm adding two. Then let's make some payments and make some orders and then make payment. Okay, choosing cash and let's validate this so payment is done for 84.60 then we can again create next order then now let's close this and confirm and let's you can see the last call closing time and date when cash balance can be seen here okay so if you try to close this you will be able to see our uh, uh, page here we can see it is in progress and here you can see an option to end session or continue selling. So if you click continue selling, we can continue selling. And here we have our uh, cash control information as we have enabled advanced cash control. We can see uh, the transactions, transaction amount can be seen here 84.60. Uh, that is we have made an order and made a payment. Then here you can see expected cash in is 584.60 and we can see the cash uh, actual in cash okay so this is because uh, the 500 is added with the 84.60 and here we have an option to put cash in or we can take cash out so here we can mention the reason why you put or take money out of uh, that is from the cash register okay suppose i am um, taking money out so if you're taking money out then you have to put negative before the amount and if you're putting uh, money in then you can uh, add positive amount so i'm taking money out 
So here you can see in transaction uh, negative 15.40 because from that 84.60 that money is reduced. Uh, so you can see that. And here again, the expected cash is also changed. And in the same way, again, you can uh, put money in uh, and specify the amount here. So here you can see the expected cash is changed and the transaction is also changed. So this is how we put cash in and cash out of our register in a session. And you can also manage, you can see the payments here. And after this, we can end the session or continue selling. Then close and post entries. So here you can see a message shown. There is a difference between the expected and actual closing cash in uh, in cash are you sure you want to close the session and post accounting entries uh, so here you can see uh, a difference there is a before closing difference that is 1884.60 is a difference and here we can set it by set changing the closing cash like you can edit this and when you click on this, you can set the closing cash or else we can uh, put this difference to a loss account. This difference can be put to a loss account, added to a loss account. So here you can, cl you can click closing post entries, post entries and you can click confirm. Okay, so now you can, you can see and uh, here when you check in the profit lost profit or loss report here we can see our cash difference loss and here when you open the journal items you can see the entry here that is cash difference object uh, observed during the counting loss and here you can see the amount so when you open this you can see the debit the amount in currency and the journal entry then statement you can see POS the number here you can see the reference so to this account uh, cash difference loss account that amount was added debited okay so that's all about uh, cash in and cash out in order 14 point of sale. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.